Hello beautiful people, this entire course is about VMware. So that is why let's take a few minutes and spend some time to understand what is VMware. VMware Incorporation is an American publicly traded software company from California, USA. It provides cloud computing and virtualization software and services. So in this course we are covering the virtualization software this one it also had cloud computing which is which is another topic of its own and they also provide services meaning once you run their software in your company you could buy their services as well as the professional services from them it was the VMware was one of the first commercially successful companies to virtualize the x86 architecture in 1998 yes they are one of the first pioneer who actually virtualized the x86 architecture now let's talk about the market share VMware has approximately 80 percent of the virtualization market share it means that there are so many other companies that actually provide you the virtualization software. There's a, a Microsoft, there is Red Hat, there's Oracle. But most of the market share has been captured by VMware. So it's a great news for those people who actually want to switch their career to VMware. Then let's go to its name, VMware. It has weight of its own. So the VMware, the best thing I like about it is name especially. And they have actually, what they did is they combined the hardware and software, both terms, and they came up with VMware. Hardware is something that you could touch. Software is something that runs on top of the hardware that you cannot touch. And the VMware is combined of both. So what they did is they gave it a name, a virtual machine where. There are two main virtualization software. By the way, VMware has a lot of different products, but we are covering the main virtualization software. One is called VMware Workstation Player. And by the way, that is something we will cover later on. You will learn about VMware Workstation Player as well. It's a software that runs over an operating system. What that really means, you have a physical machine, a laptop or desktop, for example, and you run your Windows operating system on it, uh, or Mac, or, or Linux, whatever the operating system you run on, then you could actually install the VMware Workstation Player on top of your existing operating system and create additional virtual machines. These VMware Workstation Player are mostly used in, in, in a kind of lab environment or if you are in an educational environment and you want to teach or if you are setting up a lab in your home environment, VMware Workstation Player is the way to go. Then comes in the next software, which is the corporate level software. It's called VMware Hypervisor. VMware has a hypervisor and they call it ESXi, which we will cover later on once again. It's a bare metal hypervisor that runs over a hardware without having any operating system on it. So it means you get a new physical server from HP, Dell, UCS, Cisco, wherever you get it from it does not have any operating system. So this hypervisor acts as its own operating system. You install it, the physical bare metal server, and then you run the virtual machine on it. You don't need any existing operating system for it. So keep these two virtualization software in your mind and we will cover them later on.